Uh, Dr. Marianne Ellis, there's a lot in the news today about a particular area of research which you are leading on in terms of lab-grown and cultured meat. What exactly is lab-grown cultured meat? Cultured meat in its basic form is uh, muscle cells that have been grown up in a vessel called a reactor um, and then uh, matured and will give you the muscle cells that is cultured meat. Uh, unlike other researchers in this field, here at the University of uh, you and other colleagues are growing meat cells on grass. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this approach. So uh, muscle cells need to grow on something um, so that they, because they like to attach. And uh, we have come up with the idea of using grass. It's abundant um, around us. It's growing very well at the moment. And you can uh, take the cell, take the grass cells off of it. So you get left with a, um, a, a structure that the cells really like growing on. Um, that is fibrous. And so actually you could eat that grass along with the, the muscle cells. Uh, how much progress has the UK made in, in particularly scaling up this technology and how far away are we seeing it from seeing it in our supermarkets on the shelves? So the UK um, really is one of the, the key and central players globally on the scale up. So that is what we are working on as, as engineers. Uh, we're developing systems to grow on a large scale. Uh, in terms of when we're likely to see it on the supermarkets, uh, probably the most advanced company at the moment is Moser Meats, and they are predicting four to five years. And amongst certain communities, it is quite a contentious issue. What are the potential benefits and advantages of a future diet based on this approach? So the huge advantage of eating uh, something like cultured meat is that it addresses our global needs and our global challenges of both food security and addressing climate change. Uh, our population as a, as a planet is growing and our current food production methods uh, will not scale to produce what we need to feed everybody. Um, I think we need something like an additional 60 million tonnes of protein to feed the population by 2050 and we can't do that like we currently do. So um, this cultured meat is a way to do that. It can be done anywhere in the world. It can be done where it's really hot or where it's really cold. And um, we have, say, we have the opportunity to also improve or address our climate issues because this method compared to traditional, say, beef production has much less greenhouse gas emissions, has much less water use, has much less land use and reduced energy use. So it really addresses those, uh, those two key global challenges.